Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know in my last video that I said that the next video um, would be beauty related once again, but so much has happened since my last video that I really feel the need to kind of let you in on what's been going on um, since the last video. Um, just kind of update you on my journey with longevity. And if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, um, go ahead and watch my previous video and that will fill you in on everything that I'm about to be talking about. Um, but basically since the last video, um, we started our donation page for the Longevity Breathe Deep Cincinnati 5K in uh, November. It's going to be on November 20th. Um, and then I'll put all the information about that below the link where you can register and um, sign up and all that good stuff. Um, so basically we started our donation page. I set my personal goal for $1,500 and as a team we set our goal for $11,200 um, for the 5k um, and so far we still have four months left and we are at just about $7,000 for our overall goal um, which is amazing it's fantastic and that is actually um, the last breathe deep walk in Cincinnati was in 2014 and we've already raised more than they raised so four months ago. So we are doing awesome. Um, and then for my personal goal, um, I set my goal as $1,500. And I honestly, when I set it, I've never done any sort of like fundraising or anything like this before. So I was really hesitant to set my goal. I wasn't sure. And um, I really didn't think, like I honestly didn't think that I would ever hit my goal. I thought, you know, it'd be really nice to even come close even if I get halfway, you know, it's my first time ever doing this. Um, that would be really awesome. And um, a couple weeks ago, randomly one night, so I thought if I, okay, I thought if I did hit my goal, it would be probably in November. Okay, like I thought it would definitely take the full span to hit that. Uh, and then one night I'm just sitting on my couch, I'm reading a book, and I get email updates every time someone donates. And some anonymous person donated like $200 to the cause, which for me, that, that's huge. That's tremendous because, again, my goal was $1,500. So, you know, $50 here, $100 here, that goes a long way. But then $200 anonymously, I still have no idea who donated it, um, left me with only like $54 to um, hit my goal. And even though I hadn't hit it yet, knowing that I was close and that I was going to hit it, I literally burst into tears. I'm not a person that cries a lot and I've definitely never, I'm not a happy crier. Like I, I, I cry at weddings now. I think I just think I get a little bit misty eyed. Um, but that's only been since my sister got married because it's more of like, I can relate to that. And you know, it's like, I appreciate that like sweet moment more now. Um, but I'm not really a happy crier and I don't like cry, like full out, ball my eyes out. I ugly cried. It was so emotional for me. Um, I called my mom. I had been texting my sister and my mom in a group chat and I guess my mom hadn't been looking at the group message. And so when I called her, like she could literally not even make out what I was saying. And she's like, Oh my God, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm fine, I'm fine, I hit my goal, I'm going to hit my goal, like someone just donated this money, and I completely lost my shit, and so that's a big reason why I'm making this video, well, it is the reason I'm making this video, because I actually exceeded my goal, um, I'm at 1700 as of today, um, I'm going to try not to cry, <laughs> I told myself I wouldn't cry in this video, because I did my last one, but this journey, you guys, I... I'll be honest with you, it's been incredibly emotional. Like when I hit my goal, it was just like, it was just like this feeling like, okay, you know, it just kind of all came rushing back to me. Cause the whole reason I got involved with this organization is because, you know, after my dad passed, I felt like I wanted to do something that would still benefit him, you know, or benefit the people that are going through, um, you know, lung cancer treatments or family members of it, you know, um, anyone that's in this situation. I was just really angry and I wanted to do something about it. And so when I set my goal and I didn't think that I would ever attain it, and I thought if I did, it would be, you know, way later down the line, you know, at the time of the race. And then I did, it was just like, oh my God, like, you know, it just really hit home that, that 
I'm doing what I want to do and that I am making a difference. And our group, our Cincinnati team is making a difference. And, um, it also blew me away because, you know, I've been told since the get go that, you know, Rachel, there's such a stigma linked with lung cancer. Just be prepared that you're going to hear a lot of no's. You're going to, um, hear about this a lot. There's a lot of people that have negative things to say about it and just be prepared for that. And, I've gotten that, but like the people that have been supporting me are reaching out to me and saying that I'm an inspiration, which is so weird to me because I'm inspired by the people like my dad that fought like hell through their battle, you know, and for me, I just think I'm just doing what any other person would do, you know, I'm just taking care of my dad in a different way now. I want to make sure that his voice is heard and I want to make sure that this doesn't happen to anybody again. So hitting my goal, you know, it was just like all of that came rushing back to me, like, holy shit, like, this is possible, this is really happening, you know, these people that are reaching out to me, people that I haven't spoken to in years, people I don't know, um, people that I've just met, you know, it, and then anonymous donations that I still don't know who they are, it just really showed me, you know, that, If there's something that you want to do, go out and do it. I don't care how many people tell you no or that you can't do it or, you know, that it's going to be tough or, you know, whatever. Just go out and do what you want to do. Put your heart and soul into it and make it happen. It's, it's honestly, it was just like, wow, this is possible. And I still have four months left and I've already exceeded my goal. Um, That being said, though, we still need a lot of help. You know, we still have our our goal of $11,000 that you know, we hope to exceed. We just started registering people. Um, and we still have a lot of people that we're reaching out to. So, um, please go register. I want to see you guys down at the 5k. It would be so awesome to see, uh, like my friends and family down there and just walking with me, um, and just being there, you know, it'd just be really awesome. It's going to be a really cool event. We have a lot of really awesome things planned, um, for the 5k, but, the point of this video is just basically to say thank you. You know, I, I had no idea what the hell I was doing getting involved with longevity. I didn't know where to start. I've never done anything like this. And I was just blinded by the anger of losing my dad and being so angry at this disease that it was just like, point me in the direction. I'm just going to make shit happen. I don't care if I have to bang down doors to get people to listen to me. I'm going to do it. And, um, you know, people since my first video about this, Um, have quit smoking. They've reached out to me, you know, regarding people that, um, they've lost due to lung cancer or people that have been recently diagnosed. And, um, it's awful to hear, but just knowing that people feel good enough to come to me and talk to me about these things or that I inspired them enough to quit smoking and get lung screenings. That is everything right there. That's my whole goal. Like as much as I want to raise money and as much as we need funding and research, I really want that too, but it's very important for people to be aware of how ugly this disease is. And it's not one of those things, you know, like I said before in my first video is that I always knew that smoking was bad, but I never knew how bad it really was. And, you know, I always thought, because my parents were both smokers. And again, like I said in my previous video, this is something 60 to 65% of people that are newly diagnosed aren't smokers. So I'm not just labeling smokers here, but because my parents were smokers, um, you know, I knew that it was very bad for you, but this is something that I thought, oh, you know, this will probably take them from me, but they'll be way old and gray before this ever happens. Um, and then the fact that my dad wasn't, he was hardly gray and that I lost him very young. Um, it was just very eye opening for me. And I just think that it's something that people really need to understand that this isn't a disease that discriminates. It's not going to wait until you're old and gray. It doesn't matter if you're a smoker or if you're not. It doesn't matter if you're male or female, you know, just get lung screenings. You know, I just really want to raise awareness and get your lungs checked. I don't care if you smoke. I don't care if you don't just check into it, get a screening. It never hurts to, uh, you know, check into something like that. It's not going to hurt anything. All I can do is help you. Um, but I just, again, want to say thank you to everyone that's been so supportive and reached out to me and, you know, been there from the get go and supporting me and just cheering me on because it means so much to me. And 
you know, I've had people tell me like, oh, I wish I could donate more, or, you know, you know, just when they donate, they're like, oh, it's, it's just, it's, I wish I could do more. It's just not enough. Literally a dollar is so meaningful. Like I, I told one of my friends not long ago, I said, I know it sounds really cheesy, but it's almost like those commercials that are like, you know, 50 cents a day can feed a child for however long. It's really like that. If you think, okay, one person donates $50. Okay. That's amazing. That's great. But if a thousand people donate just a dollar, like just a dollar goes so far. If we could just get everyone to just donate a dollar, it would be awesome. So, um, so yeah, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. I'm long winded, but, um, the moral of the story is, you know, I hate again that I'm in this situation, but I found the silver lining. I am now equipped with the tools to help the people that are going through this. People that are family members that are dealing with it. I know what they're going through, so I can talk to them. I can help talk them through it. I've faced the disease, so, you know, down the line, I would love to have, like, a support group that goes and talks to uh, patients with lung cancer and just visits them and, you know, listens and is there for the families. A year ago, I would have never been strong enough to go sit with a lung cancer patient and watch them go through what they go through and see that physically, but now I can, and I would love to do that. I would love to be able to sit there and hold their hand and talk them through it and be their cheerleader and be there for the families because like I said in my previous video you can feel really alone because I mean as many people as this is affecting there's not a lot of people like in your close little circle that really get what you're going through until they go through it themselves so you know when life throws adversity at you just I know that things can seem really dark and really bleak sometimes, but just dig deep, try and find the silver lining, try and find the positive spin that you can put on it and just go for it. You know, like this, again, I, I hate that I'm in this situation, but being with this organization and um, doing what I'm doing now has really changed me. You know, when I first lost my dad, I'm not going to lie, I was in a really dark place. You know, you just think how... how how can the rest of my life even be happy with my dad not witnessing all these things and without him being around and you suddenly feel like the safety net drops away underneath you and you feel like anything can happen and you can lose anyone at any time and I mean the fact of the matter is that you can but it just feels like everything is just so out of control and you know this group of women that I've been working with and just fighting towards the cause has really just grounded me again brought me back to life and um it's just really awesome to see how many of you are supporting me and I just want to say thank you and let's keep it going I just really want to blow this goal out of the water um, my new personal goal that I've set for myself is two thousand dollars so I have four months to do that um and I'm at 17 I think it was like 1700 17 yeah it was like 1726 I think what I looked so um and then obviously we still have quite a bit left on our personal goal and if you guys know a DJ if you guys know um shoot what else do we need we really need a DJ right now I'm working on Brad Johansson to be our MC for the event I've talked to him a few times now he's so nice and if you guys are probably aware that he did Lauren Hill's story, so I really wanted to get him involved because he did such a great job raising, helping her raise awareness for the DIPG. Um, so, and he actually lost his dad to lung cancer like 30 years ago or so. So I'm really trying to get him involved. So I'm going to put his Twitter below. Feel free to send him a tweet. Tell him how awesome we are. Tell him that longevity and breathe deep is where it's at and tell him to be our MC and get involved because he's awesome and it would really just help to have his face attached to our event so um but i'm rambling now so i'm gonna hop off here but just thank you thank you thank you thank you i literally cannot thank you enough it's it's been a roller coaster it's it's been an emotional ride but just knowing that i have the support that i have and that so many people are backing me and helping me make this happen it's it's unreal i could cry but i won't cry because I just don't, I'm not going to do that two times in a row, <laughs> but thank you. Um, all the information is going to be below. 
um, where you can sign up and register. Please get involved. We just opened up the registration page this week. So please register a team and get a team together. Um, get your friends, get your coworkers, get a team together. Um, it's going to be a really good time. So I hope to see you all there. And uh, get your lungs screened. Go get a screening and keep breathing deep. Bye, guys.